Thank you for turning on the, the weather. Wow, uh, just had a little bit of time back with my family in New Zealand and uh, it's cold and wet. So certainly for our camp and preparation for uh, what's coming up, uh, it's, a, it's a nice start this morning uh, in the Lahore heat, that's for sure. Uh, 40 degrees. But it's, a, it's a wonderful opportunity. It's been great this morning to uh, see the boys under pressure straight away. We had a, a really nice uh, briefing this morning with our squad. Uh, for this camp, everyone is one. It's, uh, it's a nice opportunity to bring international players in together with some Shaheen who have shown uh, their skills in Zimbabwe and recent series and also some of the young under-19s who have also shown their skills in recent series, particularly in Bangladesh. It's wonderful to have them all uh, training together. The way we've pitched this camp is that it's a skill development camp and we've asked these players to take down all of their fears. Uh, we want them to finish the week understanding their super strengths of playing spin and also bowling spin and taking wickets. Uh, we also want them to experiment and understand some of the skills that they may need uh, to add to their game. So we've asked them to make mistakes this week. We've asked them to go into a, into a frame of mind where they're experimenting a little bit, not just practicing and being safe and practicing their game that they've already got, which is why they're here. Ultimately, we want to go to the top of the world. We have uh, a wonderful opportunity this year with a couple of exciting white ball tournaments. Asia Cup, World Cup, uh, we're intending to put ourselves into contention to win that by being in the finals. We've also got a wonderful opportunity of the World Test Championship where the final is currently being played in London. We intend to be in that final next round. And we've got a, a, a nice opportunity uh, with the new cycle of Test Cricket starting with our, our series in Sri Lanka coming up to push reset on our brand of cricket that we need to play to be in that final. And a big part of that is around our ability to play spin and our ability to take wickets with the ball. So yes, during this camp you'll see white ball players, uh, red ball players. Yes, we're preparing for Sri Lanka, but yes, we're also keeping one eye on the very important skills of playing spin and taking wickets through the middle overs of white ball cricket. And uh, to us, that's the winning of the Asia Cup and World Cup. You know, those middle overs are incredibly important in terms of finding our boundary options, using our skills to turn strike over, uh, but also taking wickets, not just containing uh, through that period. So it's wonderful to have uh, an opportunity for everyone to come together for 10 days. We'll focus on the spin for the start, then we're bringing the pace bowlers in uh, for a short camp as well. But this is all about skills, developing skills, because to uh, go to the top of the world where we want to go, uh, we're going to need to continually improve our skills, and this is a, a great opportunity for uh, for our squads here today, for during this uh, during this camp. Right. Thank you, Grant. Uh, it does come. Grant, you said you want to go top of the world, but uh, is a worrying situation for you? Pakistan have very uh, 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 Pakistan have very small ODI uh, period of matches uh, in uh, before the World Cup because. Asia Cup is still uh, not confirmed. Pakistan not going to play ODI against Sri Lanka. Only few ODI before World Cup is enough for Pakistan or the other who are worried about it. No, look, we want to play as much cricket as possible uh, and our trust is with the PCB to uh, be arranging as much cricket as possible uh, for us to uh, contest the World Cup uh, ready prepared. I mean, we're a professional outfit here. Uh, our, uh, our teams, uh, all of our teams, uh, white ball teams and our test squads uh, are very clear on the brand of cricket that uh, Mickey and I want to play, uh, which is a positive brand of cricket. So um, in terms of uh, game time, yes, uh, we would like as much game time as, as possible leading up to the World Cup, of course. Uh, but our trust is with PCB and I know the international department are working hard through the scenarios to hopefully get us uh, sufficient cricket uh, to prepare as well. Yeah, let's see. I mean, uh, of course, we, we want to manage all of our uh, players, our, uh, particularly our fast bowlers. We're very conscious of making sure that uh, a, they have enough loading into their system uh, to handle the rigours of test cricket. 
but also have enough loading into their system to um, to develop the skills and uh, develop the uh, technical tactical skills to be high performers for uh, white ball cricket as well. So you know, we've allowed uh, a number of players to uh, play cricket in the UK rather than uh, coming to this particular camp. It does open up opportunities for some of the fringe players to uh, get some really nice opportunity to, to come to a camp alongside some of the international uh, players as well. It gives us a chance to see uh, some developing players which are going to be very important for uh, our tenure going forward and particularly this next, next test cycle. There's some very exciting young spinners coming through, very exciting young batsmen coming through and by having, uh, by allowing I guess some of our, um, our main players the opportunity to play in the UK they're not only getting good cricketing opportunities, but it opens up some nice opportunities here for our fringe to uh, to get some uh, time in the spotlight as well. This camp is meant for uh, spinners and uh, fast bowlers. But are you going to address the uh, mid order goals that Pakistan has been, uh, have been facing for quite a few uh, times? Absolutely. That's uh, what you saw out there today. That's simulating middle order uh, play. Uh, red ball today. It'll be white ball uh, this afternoon. And uh, absolutely middle order, as I've said to you, I think, um, and it's no secret, probably the middle overs of a uh, one-day game are, um, are critical. You know, that's the winning and losing, perhaps, of the, uh, of the World Cup. So um, we're very, very uh, excited by uh, the way that we were able to play all of our bench uh, during the New Zealand series and actually discover um, and allow some players to... Uh, get some opportunity in that middle order that they haven't previously got. So it's answered a few more questions for us as a selection panel. Uh, as coaches, it's given us an opportunity to perhaps play some different combinations uh, through that middle period. Uh, but the, uh, the intent remains the same, that uh, we want to play that middle over period uh, very aggressively. Uh, we want to play uh, that middle over period uh, by... Uh, taking wickets and uh, and and scoring at a, a good, good clip through that period, which uh, takes us through into the launching pad of the finish. But um, you know, it's 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 a big focus for us in the spin camp is that uh, middle over uh, those middle over skills and learning to turn over strike uh, really really important and it's a great opportunity. Wonderful facilities out here and out the back uh, at at NCA to be able to uh, have such a camp like this. Yeah, the average is 49, eh? Yeah, the average is 49 in Test cricket. So, um, you know, what a what a wonderful young uh, a young player. Not so young now, but um, you know, Abbott. We all feel for Abbott having gone through a medical condition, uh, but he is uh, also making uh, great progress. And there's no reason why we shouldn't be including a player like Abbott uh, in a situation like this. Um, let's see, you know, it's a good opportunity for Abid to come back into uh, the international environment and, uh, you know, it's, it's a real pleasure to have someone of his skills, someone of his character uh, in the group. He uh, adds value to us uh, as a group, so uh, we're, we're very pleased to have Abid back uh, and training with us, at least at this stage. Last Absolutely, there's uh, no one has been discounted, and uh, look, there's there's opportunities for uh, for you know, all spinners to um, to put their name forward uh, in this next test cycle. Uh, especially, it's an exciting opportunity we had to go to uh, Sri Lanka, where uh, we will be challenged with spin, but also we will challenge Sri Lanka uh, with spin, and uh, we have a number of fantastic spinners that. Um, are in the mix and uh, we haven't discounted anyone from, from that, uh, that list.